please don't drink the bleach. Hello vlog, welcome to Wednesday. Wednesday, February 28th. My rent is due tomorrow. I am going to just chat with you while I put some makeup on. Why does it look so dark on there? Because it is, I guess. Okay, cool. I mean, I do have my ring light right there. I could turn it on. Yeah. All right. Close enough. Whatever. Welcome to the vlog. I am about to go to a stand-up comedy workshop run by women for women. In case you don't know, I don't know why you would because I don't think I've talked about it on this channel before. I am interested in doing stand-up comedy, which, you know, wow, because because I'm not really that funny. I am a firm believer in taking the shit things that happen to you and turning them into comedy gold. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, talk to you while I shove concealer up my nose about something I've been thinking about a lot lately. With all of this Tide Pod challenge talk going around, I have been reminded many times of when I was in college and I did the original Tide Pod challenge. It was back in the day when my mother did not yet have cancer, but was super in the depths of her mental illness. I call it schizophrenia. She was never diagnosed completely uh, officially, but towards the end of her life she was being treated for it with an antipsychotic and it worked wonders. So that's kind of what I'm calling it, just based on her symptoms and what psychologists have said and la la la. Anyway, my entire family did what I called the original Tide Pod Challenge because we drank bleach daily. A little bit of backstory, this substance that we consumed is called the Miracle Mineral Solution, I think. It has the word miracle in it, which I don't speak too much about religion, um, but I am not religious, but I am spiritual, okay? I do believe, oh, if, if you're hearing barking, it's my dogs playing on my bed in the next room. They're very cute, but I'm not gonna show them to you. I don't follow a set of rules based on where I want to end up when I die. I do things that I think are the right thing because it feels good to do the right thing. I believe there's probably some sort of higher power watching me, <laughs> but I do not believe I am being judged by the number of times I go to church. Yeah, anyway, my mother was super duper spiritual, kind of religious mixed in with that. So anything with the word miracle, particularly when she was diagnosed with stage four metastatic lung cancer, the word miracle was thrown around in our household a lot. But um, I digress. She could not accept the fact that my little brother had autism, um, which he did, he does. But Marco, why are you barking? Based on her mental illness, she, could not accept it, so there were many spiritual explanations for his behavior and his symptoms. Unfortunately, she did a lot of research online and found out that, um, you know, this vaccine he got when he was a baby gave him autism, but don't worry, it wasn't autism. And uh, <laughs> don't ask me to try to make sense of it, because it doesn't make sense. The logic, it made sense to her, if that makes sense. Her reality was very different than mine and yours. And don't get me wrong, I I feel like if you asked me, like, yes or no, do you believe miracles happen? I guess I would lean more towards yes. But what I don't believe is this one theory that my mother found online and unfortunately fell into. She became involved with a pyramid scheme at one point and just like, just, Many wackadoodle things happened in our lives. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that she got sucked into was this miracle mineral solution, I believe it was called. MMS is what it was called for short. And basically, what she told me that it was, coming in with some bronzer now. <laughs> hey dogs. What she told me that it was, was this, uh, 
I don't really even understand. I don't know what she told me it was, but from my understanding, it was supposed to help clear your body of toxins and all the chemicals that we put in our body on a daily basis. It would counteract that. And if we got sick, we consumed it more often. Yeah, so, sorry, this is really hard for me to talk about. That's why you're watching me put makeup on so that I can be distracted. But um, I started taking it in college and basically what it was was two little plastic bottles with liquids in them. One was labeled citric acid and one was labeled water purification drops. And I brought that up to my mother at one point, like, hey, water purification drops, that sounds healthy. And she reassured me, like, you know, don't worry. It is just because the grand they, the government, don't want us to know about these natural remedies for this, that, and the other thing, like the autism, not autism, and the common cold and the flu and everything. They didn't want us to know about all these things. So in order to have it shipped over the border from the States, it had to be labeled as something else that it wasn't. So it was labeled as water purification drops and citric acid. And what you would do is mix together a few drops of one with a few drops of the other. I can't quite remember the exact math on it, but yeah, you would do that, let it sit for three to five minutes, I can't remember exactly, and then dilute it with water, fill the glass of water up, and then drink it. And to me, it always tasted disgusting. Still to this day, the way that I describe the taste is like a rotten apple core, but chemically. She laughed at me when I told her like, oh, it tastes like a rotten apple core. I'm like, well, that's the price you paid for your health. <laughs> yeah, I took it when I was away at college once and spewed all over the kitchen of my then boyfriend and his roommates. Um, if he's watching, he probably remembers. Sorry. <laughs> By spewed, I don't mean vomit. I was like gagging and dry heaving and like had to it into the sink, but I did not throw up. <laughs> my dogs are barking and running around the house. And I just, I never bought into it. I was like, okay, whatever, this stuff is weird. I'll just drink it. And she got my stepdad and my brother to drink it several, like all the time. I didn't live at home, so I could get away with telling her that I was drinking it every day. Sorry, mom, I lied to you, but it turns out people were lying to her, so fine. Um, yeah, so I don't remember what I was saying. We would drink this all the time under the assumption that it was ridding our body of toxins and chemicals. And then after my mom passed away, I was watching YouTube and something popped up about MMS and I clicked on it. It turns out it was a news segment talking about how people were poisoning themselves with this literal bleach. So that was kind of alarming. I sent it to my stepdad and he made my brother stop taking it and threw it out. It was disgusting and I find the whole Tide Pod challenge epidemic or whatever on YouTube to be kind of triggering. I'm gonna be honest because a lot of people in my mom's generation are making fun of the youth today for uh, eating Tide Pods when I don't think too many people were actually eating them and making videos in the beginning of it. I think it was after everybody started being like, wow, this is really stupid that it became a thing. Anyway, I digress. I just think it's funny and ironic that People in that generation are the ones who uh, made a killing off of selling bleach to parents who didn't want to admit that their kids are neurodiverse. So that's fun. Yeah, I will never forget the taste of bleach. And every time I see a YouTube comment that says, hey, go drink bleach, <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that somebody says that on one of my videos so I can proudly declare that I used to every day. I'm not sure what the long-term health implications are. Um, I feel like I really lucked out because I didn't 
drink it every day for years like the rest of my family did. I believe it can have neurological effects. Um, what's the thing with your digestion? Digestive <laughs> effects? I personally believe it was detrimental to my brother's development, but he's gonna be 16 this year. He's doing better than he ever has, and at least he doesn't have to drink bleach every day anymore because our mother denies that autism is a real thing. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my NYX eyebrow pencil. <laughs> um, basically, I don't know exactly why I told this story, but my generation had the don't you put it in your mouth PSA. If you're not from Canada, you might not know what that is, but if you are, I just got it stuck in your head. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. We had that, and yet we still ended up drinking bleach every day. So <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, remember what the concerned children's advertisers told us in the 90s? Kind of think for yourself. Sometimes, sometimes the miracle solution ends up just being a house hippo. It is a nice idea that somebody thought up one day and it's literally just chemicals that you're eating. If anybody else has been impacted by MMS. I would love to hear your story in the comments below. And you know what, if you for some reason are on the other side of this where it saved your life and all of these great benefits happened to you, um, I'd love to hear your story. But with all due respect, you were literally drinking bleach and I don't know. I feel that it's something that I'm gonna have to deal with in therapy for years to come. And to be honest with you, I can't even remember if I've brought it up to my therapist yet. If you are someone who has been approached and told, hey, take this, it'll help you. Um, we have to call it water purification drops so that it can get across the border. I strongly urge you to do your research and also <laughs> to just <laughs> not take it. Bleach is toxic. How is it going to get the toxins out of your body? One more thing that I think is very important to take away from this. Hang on, I'm going to finish my lipstick first. One more very important thing that I want you to take away from this is if you are an autistic person or just different from your family in some way, please don't drink the bleach. That's all I'm saying. You're fine how you are. You don't need to be cured. Neurodiversity is a biological fact. It is not something that needs to be fixed. You don't need to be fixed. My glasses are very dirty. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. Let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, I'm sorry if this was pretty blunt, but you know, that's how it is when you sit down in front of a camera and just blah sometimes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon and don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today. Bye!